Recall that during a physical change, the composition of the material does not change. But in a chemical change, matter produced has a different composition than the original matter. During a chemical reaction, atoms of the reactant rearrange to form products. These reactants will break apart and recombine in a new way which makes the products. To explain this in an equation, we use an arrow to symbolize the reaction. The arrow can be read as yields, gives, or reacts to produce. So this could say reactants yield products, reactants give products, or reactants react to produce products. This is a word equation for the reaction pictured earlier. Methane plus oxygen yield carbon dioxide and water. It's useful, but perhaps not as useful as the chemical equation, which uses formulas for the reactants and the products. So that same reaction, CH4 plus O2, yields CO2 and H2O. If the equation does not indicate the relative amounts of reactants and products, then it's called a skeleton equation, or an unbalanced equation. So this is truly the skeleton equation for the combustion of methane. The balanced equation would have a coefficient of 2 in front of both the oxygen and the water. Some reactions use catalysts to speed up the reaction. Catalysts aren't changed during the reaction, so they're not part of the reaction. But to show that they're used to speed it up, the catalyst is written over the arrow. In this case, manganese dioxide is used as a catalyst for the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Notice that little descriptor by the reactant, hydrogen peroxide. There are lots of helpful symbols that can be used in equations. This one means aqueous. These symbols are commonly used in equations to add more information about what's happening in the reactions. It could be information about the state of matter, whether heat is applied, or whether a catalyst is used. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.